Now we're here. First numb on One Love Creations. Let's go. I recognize it. Uh, uh, uh. Is this the sample that Scotty Hines used? Uh, or am I wrong? Hey. Time in my life where I was wishing I'd die. Nah, Every one. morning waking up and I was thinking I might. Every time that I was drinking, I was thinking I'd try. I nearly did it twice. Never pictured being in this guy. Under the influence, drugs were never something I'd like. Till I was taking anything and everything for a high. You just thought that a party harder was escaping my mind. Nobody's worried, they just be like, nah, they'd never take Ryan. But I was lying to the fact that had me laid in the blind. And if you weren't doing this with me, I would leave you behind. I let the devil in my system. It's weird, the video looks sped up almost, but. It obviously is in time. He was bleeding me dry. I was losing weight quick. My sleep was really deprived. Talking seven days a week, I would sleep for a couple nights. Paranoid, I'm hearing things go to sleep with a couple knives. At first thought I was tripping. This happened a couple times. I got new people around me. I'm feeling like they're my guys. We're getting high and talking. They know what's wrong up inside. They're making me feel better. So fuck you in your advice. That's how I reply to people who really care for me. Like last year, I dominated. This year, I'm letting it slide. Like how you go from that to this? That's broken my pride. Man, I was running. I got close and then I froze on the line. I overdosed and nearly died. That really opened my mind. I'm on my way to hospital and I know when if I'll survive I'm on my third day without sleep, it got me thinking I might Went a little too fast, started passing out as a cry Looking out the window thinking I really fucked up this time My girlfriend's panicked and driving, she's screaming Ryan, just why? Don't you close your eyes, we're nearly there and everything's fine What's my family gonna think if I don't make it tonight? And when they talk about mm, the mic, it's what I'm doing What's my family gonna think if I don't make it tonight? That's a bar There and everything's fine What's my family gonna think if I don't make it tonight? Woo! And when they talk about the mic, that's what I'm leaving behind If the barrel's got six shots, it's like I'm loaded with five Playing Russian roulette Hoping that I'm hoping the barrel's loaded with six shots. It's like a what I'm leaving behind. If the barrel's got six shots, it's like it's oh, if the barrel's got six shots, it's like I'm loaded with five. Like I'm loaded oh. with five, playing Russian roulette, hoping that I'm hopefully fine. I'm not ready to leave. I don't think you know what it's like until you've been here and you feel like you're a ghost in the night. When you're walking without direction, any road could be right. Suicidal thoughts, I pen down in this note that I write. I started struggling to cope with all my friends who have died. I had a selfish in mind to try when it's preventable, right? They give anything for a life and they ain't fucking alive. And here you have me young and healthy, out of fucking my mind. Yeah, that really fucks with my mind. I said I'm out of young and healthy, really fucking with mine. Yeah, yeah, that really fucks with my mind. I hate letting my mom down. I can see that she feels helpless. That really's always worried and never knows how to help it. And then there is my girlfriend, like, why the hell are like, you dealt this? We come from different lives and never in hers. The has got my real ones telling me this ain't you, and how can we cope it? I think it's time to tell the truth, lay it down as I felt it come corrected. Cause I don't want nobody to spell check what I'm projecting. It's only ever honest, it's healthy. I went on to a 86 kilo and never felt better. I came back, lost my job, drug habits, and letters. All my bills are piling up, I'm getting calls from collectors. Spend all the money that I made on fucking balls and just betting to make it work. My car was stolen, this a road or a theft, man Even then I fucking thought that I should pause for a second I got worse, I'm on the radio, can't talk in a sentence Shit, I really hit the bottom, I'm surprised I ain't dead yet I knew the problems that I had, I didn't know how to mend it Too afraid to face my fears, so on my face I pretend it Write a message, then delete, how do I say I'ma end it? I can't believe that it is me who's sending these fucking death threats I wanna say I'm thankful for everybody who checked this And sorry to the people that I hurt when I was reckless I'll mend it, but if you forgot me, well then forget it If I told you that I love you and need you, I really meant it Real talk, I wanna say I'm clean and I quit I'm sorry I could be like this But I'm back now and never will I leave I give you everything that I am so I can be like this mm. But I'm back now and never will I leave I give you everything that I am so I can be like this Okay uh, Care what they fucking say man you know it's real talk, you know it's real talk. Yeah I couldn't care what they say motherfucker real talk real talk real talk real talk Hey You know it's real talk Urgent. Okay, here's my thoughts on this one. Um, I, I see what Day Ones is saying. He rushed this one. I don't, I don't know if he rushed his writing, but he rushed his delivery. He was making some real, real big statements on there, like really big fucking statements on there. I feel like if he allowed, I think the beat was too fast. I think the sample was perfect. I think the beat was wrong. I think if he used the the sample that um Scotty Hines used, I think it might have been better. Um, he needed a slower instrumental. When you have hard hitting punchlines like that, hard hitting statements about what's going on in your life or in your mind and whatever, if you want that shit to really connect, you've got to take time with it. I say I said this to someone. Um, someone it, it messaged me on Instagram. Um, someone who's been following my content before the Aussie rap shit, and um, 
he writes music himself and he has a real rapid flow like a real rapid flow um and my biggest criticism to him was you got to allow your shit to you know you got to allow spacing in your shit because you're rushing it way too much um and uh yeah, so he was just rushing his shit too much and he spent time away from music and recently he hit me up and he's like, look, I've written half of a track here, what do you think? And he's learning to space it a little bit more, but it was still way too rushed. He was making some big statements, some nice bars in there too. My biggest uh, example of knowing how to space your punchlines and how to space your bars is Getz. Gets this guy from the UK fucking OG in the scene, man, like, and still currently one of the top in the scene. Like, was there to father the whole birth of Grime, and is still about to this day as one of the top people, in my opinion. Gets has a really, really rapid flow, but he knows how to space his bars as well. Like, I'm gonna play a song, but I'm gonna have to pause it a fair bit because it's gonna get copyrighted. I know for a fact it'll be, um, copyrighted. What's it called? Window pane. Yeah, look, you're going to see it's going to get copyrighted. I'm going to play it literally like 20 seconds at a time. Just listen to how Getz spaces right, his man. shit out. Right, so this is um about uh, his brother that died, right? Listen to how he speeds up and slows down at the right times. Speak to you later. Right. Warren died. Get sued in handcuff for his death. Blood on my life. When man touched me, he bled. So you see, Warren died. Did a did 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 did. Let's the beat run. Did a did did. When he touched me, he bled. Like the way how he, he listened to his bars, they're rapid, but he allows the spacing in between. I only got one life, and the life means nothing to them. I don't want to make a mum cry. When the fuck would this end? So he slowed it down there, but he's allowing the gaps in between. They took an L, but made sure the next letter coming was M. Alphabetical slaughter. Found my friend in the corner. Like anyone who wants to understand space and listen to Gets, listen to that whole project, Get a Gospel uh, New Testament. It's my favorite album of 2018 so far. Um, but yeah, like Furs did a decent job there. He did. He did a decent job. He did. But he's got to learn how to space them out if he wants them hard hitting bars. Like I heard those hard hitting bars, but it's not easy listening to to get that. A per another perfect example of hard hitting bars that are spaced out. Um, crept last night in Lagos. Another, I I've played this. Um, I've played this hundreds of times on stream, and I will continue to play it because it's just fire. Gave life to like ten of my niggas, and the streets took life from like ten of my niggas. Southside, all the shit that's taught me. And from the yo app, link me in Morley's. All the stories, the shit that it did for me. But thank God, cause things could have went differently. Like when me see him not all on the ride, couple inches to the left, we all would have got life. Don't even remember the, the reason, reason for it. Let's it settle. Just would have been another mother's, mother's heart, heart bleeding, bleeding from, from it. it. And now and I will remember worth. that bar forever because of how he allowed it, how he allowed it to marinate. You know, like, what's he gonna say? It's just another mother's heart bleeding from it. And then you deep that bar. You have time to deep how peak that bar is. And then he's going in with another one next. No way. Who would have been here to change the whole game? Only hood niggas in the charts next to Coldplay. It's my seven, seven years, years ago. ago. You could have got, got your own eight. eight. This was made in 2015. Seven years ago, it was 2008. Fam, just, yeah. You get the idea. So shout out to First though. It's a decent track, but I just want him to be able to space that out so it has that real hard hitting because he made like 50 statements there. I'd rather hear 10 of them spaced out the right way. Um that's that's the best um that's the best way I can explain it. 